3080 to MSP. Worked out their bug and they're on their way. And I did just check. It's 55 degrees colder as of right now. It's gonna get worse as the day goes on in Minneapolis. It's like a high of 23, a low of 19. 70 here going up to 85. Ooh, that's chilly. Jojo the grizzly bear headed to Sin City this morning. Viva, viva, Las Vegas. Yeah, they won't be, uh, they won't be pulling any slot handles anytime soon. That's for sure. Next stop, Philadelphia, PHL. Whoa, a little heavy on the. Uh, Zoom there, Steven. Yeah, sun's thinking about coming up. Gear up. Hey, there's something I like to do one day. Runway inspection. I'd be so busy doing a video, I wouldn't be doing a good job of inspecting the uh, runway. <laughs> Maybe I just do a ride along. Well, if that's possible. Maybe I need to write an email here. A day in the life of operations. That might be cool. But let's let uh, everything currently settle down before I do that. Silver wings. Cleared for takeoff. They're headed to Tallahassee this morning. They're rolling. Kinda. the sun. I see the beacon on that uh, FedEx on the end there. Is that the A300? I can't tell. I can't see. 8 a.m. Looking back at the Howard Franklin Bridge, which is always backed up in the morning. There's like literally nothing coming into Tampa. Sight I've never seen. Silver Wings, 82 to Pensacola. Got a jet blue on close final behind them. And the FedEx pushing back is actually a 7-7, seven, seven, a 7-7, seven, seven, a 7-6-7, seven, seven, Smokey Joe. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to see. I'm blinded by the light. Boy, that was a quick turn. Headed west. Jet Blue. Uh, 
Hey, there's one of the Thomas Cook A321s in the background. There's two of them there now. Thomas Cook, I want to say, was from the UK. They closed up shop, and if I heard correctly, JetBlue is accepting those aircraft. We're going to put them in their fleet, but I don't know what, uh, again, with everything up in the air, what does that mean now? They send them back, do they just park them? Do they need them? I would think with most, uh, most everybody uh, with so little or so few people flying now that all those types of projects are probably going to be placed on hold or canceled. Just my thoughts. I don't speak from any official capacity. Thank you, ARF, and our first responders. Oh yeah, they continue on their mission every day. God bless them, huh? Little test. I promise you I haven't been drinking. It is an A300 as I originally thought. Up and over the Juliet Bridge this morning for one nine right. Airside F in the background. It's heavy jet time. Look at my phone. That's Southwest 786 from BWI, Baltimore, Washington International Airport. Would you like runway 10 at the Unofficially, Southwest is running about 20% capacity today, Friday. Heavier loads tomorrow, Saturday. All right, Victor, Victor 5, Whiskey, America, and uh, 704. And yes, Southwest confirmed is still flying to Hawaii, Hawaii to Cuba, close to them. But it sounds like they're not taking any new reservations to go. Ooh. Clear to land, right, drive We got a giant heavy jet, which I believe is a 767 coming to 19 right. 816. And we got two aircraft on final on 19 left. We got our heavy jet on final on 19 right. Inbounds are getting busy. And our prime air also coming from BWI. That's the filed Southwest down. 767 300 heavy jet. 7 Jeep, Romeo, Sonic's departure, 19.9er. Departure with CS, 7 Romeo. Sonic, 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 Pop goes the weasel. Boy, he's coming in pretty hot. Woo! Using a little more runway than everybody else. Wow. Top down, 
Down. I think it's the southwest. He asked how many on board. He said 12. So, yeah, it's going to be a rocket getting out of here today. Prime Air. Yeah, they got my new uh, Keurig coffee machine to me in a couple hours. Eight seventy eight from MSY, New Orleans. Hey, if you're looking for updates on what the airlines are doing with capacity and their people, check out Juan Brown, the Blanco Lirio, Blanco Lirio channel. You always get some great information. He has some uh, great guests on his show as well too. Very informative. The beep, beep, beep. The uh, main post office is uh, several hundred yards away from me, so that's the uh, mail truck's backing up. Yep, mail is running. Right here, ground push up, that was the 878. One of my favorites. It's Bugs Bunny, aka Jack the Rabbit Livery. Yeah, Bugs Bunny's arriving from Islip Long Island. Yeah, Frontier Neo. Uh, uh, Let's see, we're at F1 with uh, hotel for taxi. Place by seven step ground. Good morning. One hour left. Taxi via Sierra. Hold short. One hour left. He's at hotel. The other's at Victor. Victor. Sorry, I missed that for town for eighty two seven. Right, again. I missed that for town for eighty two seven. And our buddy Bugs Bunny ought to come flying out of there any second. He's down. This is some of the busiest time of the year. With spring break and snowbirds, uh, it's normally just packed here at TPA. Are you at a, where are you? Are you at an actual gate? Uh, no, uh, I'm sorry, I was just giving you the intersection. We're at Hawker Beach. People, and contact ground, 27. Left and ground. And what's up, Doc? Thank you. Romeo 3. There he is. Nineteen ninety two to Boston Logan. Red, white, and blue. A pair of Americans headed to one nine right. American. Red, white, and blue. Flight 468 to DCA, our nation's capital. A319, so was the mini bus. Short stubby, but 
gets the job done, as always. Here's our Smoky Joe 7600. 692 to Memphis, Tennessee. It's Sunday morning, that's an MD-11 most times. Oh, right over the 7-6. Tampa ground, uh, United, 432 maintenance. And barely a sky, a no sky, barely a cloud in the sky. I sound like I've been drinking. Coffee. Twenty-five seventy from uh, Providence arriving uh, half hour early. That seems to be common right now. Twenty, thirty, forty minutes early is uh, the new norm, and I'm assuming that's a combination of less traffic, boy, less people on a plane loading and unloading. Turning them around's got to be a lot quicker. But I believe the airlines are doing additional cleaning, which I don't know if that takes more time or not. But it seems like they're sure getting the planes down to the gate and back in the air in a hurry. We all know what the normal battle is with carry-on luggage and bin space. It's a battle getting on board. Well, if there's only 10 or 12 of you, that'd take two seconds. Well, it's Airside F is totally empty, bare naked. That's going to conclude this edition of Spotting Tampa International. Thanks for being with me today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thrilled to have you on today's journey. Be sure to press that uh, subscribe button, like, share, and hit the notification bell. See you again tomorrow, and stay safe. Tampa International.